$3,500 for each. Yeah. <laughs> it's more like black curry with a splash of lager. Yeah. Hey up YouTube, it's Theme Park Bazza here. Welcome to another park vlog with Mrs. <laughs> Theme Park Bazza. So they do want to see you. The fans want to see you, Max. Uh, today is Sunday. It's um, we're on a bit of a more chill day today. Lots of parking up here. It's empty. We're on a bit of a chill day today. Yesterday we were working at the house all day and a little achy. And then we had tornado warnings in Orlando last night and it thunderstorms from about 4 a.m. and it rained from 7 a.m. So now they've slept very well. So we're going to have a bit of a chill day. I think we're going to do something different today as well. We're going to start a new challenge, which is find the best fish and chips in Orlando. So we're going to do that on our park visit today. This morning, we went to get some light fittings for the house that Maxim found on Craigslist. Uh, she looks on there on Facebook Marketplace, so we picked them up on the way down. Um, so Maxim didn't have to make a normal cry of how much, because it was free. So that was good. So let's show you where we are today and where we're going to eat fish and chips today. I didn't notice what Maxine was wearing today, which is very apt. Fish and chips. Yeah, it's a good t-shirt to wear. You should wear that every time we do the fish and chip challenge. Oh, by the way, that, this will be Maxine's view on fish and chips, because she's uh, that's her go-to. I will give my opinion, but it'll be Maxine's review. So today's challenge is in Epcot. That's where we're going to have our fish and chips. Let's see how busy it is today. Interesting, so when we came through the toll plaza on the way in, they just waved us on, never checked our magic bands, never asked if we had a pass, which is most unusual. Yeah, let's see if we need so, to pay. Never asked if we need to pay, <laughs> so just waved us in. So uh, we will see as we go in, how wow, today's going. Currently 10 minutes for Spaceship Earth. 20? 20 minutes, sorry, for Spaceship Earth, so that's not too bad. Let's walk around, we just saw Soaring was only 15 minutes, which is unbelievable if it is, so we might head around that way. See how busy if that's real, might have gone down and just come back up again, I guess. Like the cook, cool wash is now open for the first time. But your cooks, that's a new opening, and it is 50 minutes for test track, so we're going to give that a pass for the moment. For now, we'll see if it comes down later in the day. So, we're going to head over to Frozen and see if that number is really correct. And it is Frozen, is typically an hour plus to get in. If it's uh, the times it's saying, we may have a ride. It is only the mid 70s today, but with all those thunderstorms and rains, oh boy, it's humid. I think I checked this morning, it was like 96% humidity when we set off. So uh, we may be huffing and puffing a bit later in the day, but it is due to the humidity, not to the heat. Yeah, we're in line, I don't believe 15 minutes, but where we are now should be within the 30 minutes because we're not down to the, around the Chinese restaurant yet. So we shall see, see if we can get on um, frozen before we have something to eat. There's a new barges over there, I'll go and give you a few shots of those once we've ridden this ride. A bit closer view, probably after we've eaten our fish and chips. Funny, because all I can hear everybody saying is, only 15 minutes, only 15 minutes, nobody can believe it. <laughs> Most unusual. But it's only 15 minutes, so here's Barry's guess. Probably put purse specs on the boats, and they're filling every row. That's the only reason we'd have so many people going in so quickly. As predicted, they did have screens on. That's why it was exactly 11 minutes from getting in line to getting on board. So luckily we're in the last row. The screens do get in the way, but we're in the last row of the boat. So I could put my camera above it, take some pictures, and there was no one behind that I was blocking. So here's a few shots. As predicted, they have first specs on, and they're filling every row. That's why things are going quickly. <laughs>
Rocky, my favourite princess. Thank you to uh, Aussie Robo and English Gent. They've got an Etsy store with this on. I already had somebody comment on on the way in, so that was a great t-shirt. So I said thank you. My favourite Disney princess, of course. Well, it's a super hot day today and we foolishly left our hats in the car. So we're going to go back to them. It is baking hot. It's supposed to be overcast all day. <laughs> Not really overcast. So I think we may pop in for a pint and then grab some fish and chips. I think first protocol is going to be the Rose and Crown. It's actually closing in about a week for renovation, the restaurant area. The bar will still be open and you can still get fish and chips outside. But I think from the 17th of Feb, they'll set it be open later in the spring, late spring. Woo. There's some cool in here, thank goodness. Hello. Yeah, there's a lot of blackcurrant in that one. Good. <laughs> it's more like blackcurrant with a splash of lager. Mm -hmm. Cheers, Max. <laughs> you ready for that? Mm. Mind to bodies. If you're in a relaxation station, you can take your mask off. Yeah, it's not exactly overcast today. Do you want me to go and get in line for the fish and chips? Yeah, I do. Today's fish and chips will be at the Yorkshire County Fish Shop in Epcot. And that's the, uh, what you would call the rest area over there, where you can go and eat, take your mask off, tables and chairs. That's where we're going to be eating. No, good, thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Here you go. On the tray for you. They didn't have any uh, knives for whatever reason, only forks. This is what we got. They're what, 15 bucks each? Mm, only 11.50. 11.50, I have to go and check the menu. But they don't give you any knives, weird, only forks. That'll be as good. Okay. Yeah, Max and gave instructions if I didn't film it, she told him to put like fill it half with black currant, then put the lager in because they seem to struggle making it here. Just like that fish, mm, looks good. Try a chip. Hmm? So we're going to rate these on A price, B fish, and C chips. So we're going to use a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is terrible and 10 is excellent. So I think first on price, for me, at this price it's an 8, it's a 10 out of 10. I mean, what do you think, Max, for price? Well. Because really of the... Pretty cheap, though. Yeah, compared to anywhere else, they're in the mid-20s, $20. Park, yeah, well. I mean, usually in restaurants, they're 18 $20 now. 25 in here. 25 yeah, I mean, in any restaurant. Mm. So, okay, and then for the chips, for me, were probably a 5. They were a little overdone, and there wasn't really a, a large amount of them. What about you, Max? Seven. I so. just smother mine in vinegar anyway. Smooth. And what do you rate your fish? That was probably a ten of good. Eh, I give the fish maybe a an eight, but that's just because of the size. It's a little smaller than some of the others you get. But it was enough. Yeah, it was enough as a portion. And it battered was crispy and tasty. Yeah. And so maybe fish. we should combine those both together mm. and then have one score. And then when we go to the ones we both take our view average them, make them into one score. So you'll ski see the score appearing on the screen now because I can't work that out because I've been drinking Boddington's. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll come back to the rating for those guys. 49. Okay, put it away, hide it. So Martha's done the calculation in her head and she, uh, she uh, decided to downgrade the fish to a nine. So it's 49, 49 out of a possible 60. So that's our rating for the Yorkshire Fish Shop at uh, Epcot. And we've just decided we're going to give them an extra bonus point because of Max. They provided vinegar. Malt vinegar with it, so we're going to give them 50 out of 60 because not a lot of places you do fish and chips give you malt vinegar. There you are, uh, different ears. Try them on, Max. I look silly in Shoot, yeah, can see you. Yeah. <laughs> 29.99. British rose, white rose of Yorkshire as well, Max. It's the right colour for you. Yeah, but it's so. See, Festival of Arts, they're doing the hand painting kids' toys, kids' uh, toys, but uh, not at kids' prices. 
Very cool though. Very cool. Not really toys, are they? Hobby rockers. Hobby rockers. Oh, they've taken all that down as well. The shop's gone. Well, it's a shop, but it's just art. Art shop. Virtual waitlist for something. What? This is a painting, something there's a virtual waitlist for that guy. Yeah, there's one over here as well. He's painting as well. Festival favourites. <coughs> so we got. Blue sky black cherry bobber freeze. What's the point if it's not alcoholic? Three daughter strawberry blonde nitro. That's a beer. So this is in the show building at the end. That's what's popping in here. They've always got different things. Steak tartare. Roast beef tartare. Pistachio cake. Rusty nail. I've had those. They're good cocktail rusty nail. I've done before. Well, there's nobody on the stage today. We've got flights of beers to try. I'll stick with me Boddingtons. Last time we came here we got pins for our friends in England that we shipped over. They have the festival pins behind this uh, counter over here. I think we filmed it and vlog it on those uh, racks behind the desk. The uh, special pins. And there's more artwork over here. Can do. There's no lines at the moment to get in. That's pretty cool. Got clothes at the end there. They got different artists here, haven't they? Pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. They're very good over there as well. I like that kind of black and white art with the... Just like the black and white design on some of those. With the colour. Pretty cool. And Walt on his train. I think that lady said that we're here from 4 till 7 to sign it, the artist. Were they? 4 till 7 to sign. That's a good idea to get it signed if you can. Yeah, that's pretty. Amazing. Yeah, well, that is very cool. Cartoon ones over there. Max, real classic cartoon ones. Over this side, I like the style of the kind of black and white. Can't more cartoonish. Jungle Cruise. Jiminy Cricket. Quite a bit of a Buzz and Woody there. The originals as well. Three thousand five hundred dollars each. Yeah, I think we need a kitchen appliances more than we need a painting. Very nice, though. Very skilled artist. That's pretty cool. As well. Seven hundred bucks for all the villains together. That's pretty cool. I like figment. One thousand nine hundred and fifty pigment. Oh, cool. Some of those helicopters to go over. So you can see there's two of the barges out there now. One on the right. 
that's kind of a central float there and then one on the left I think there's a third one to come out as well the big one in the middle but they are supposed to be shooting fireworks out of there and also do a water show uh, in the evening so uh, they keep loading them out and sending them out there and we'll hopefully soon be able to get the new show like that? Mm. Right, so, 55. 55. Seem quieter in here today. Yeah. Got the white ones there, Max. The furry ones that you don't need in Florida. Except when it's freezing cold. We got Karina's ears again. Karina's ears are here. Our Karina's ears are our Karina's mum's ears. We've got some more of the roofing on the Guardian's right. I'm pretty sure they put a coat of paint on the side here. I don't remember it being bronze and black last time we came down. I'm not sure they're solar panels, they're just, just roofing, I think. I don't remember it being all this bronze and brown and black colour before. Okay. Only five minutes for Spaceship Earth as we head out. And of course there's a new statue here we have uh, never seen. Because uh, you don't see it on the way in. Or maybe we just didn't happen to see it around there didn't we? All right. Looks rather grand. Mike's going to take a picture of me I think. Let's have the photographer do it. We're going to go and get it taken by the proper Disney photographer. So we're heading out to the park now. We had a good day. Uh, we're going back for a Nana nap because we're a bit exhausted with the high humidity and the lack of sleep from the storms last night. We had a good day though, didn't we, Max? We did. Achieved our goal. We tried the fish and chips and rated them. Got a beer, Max and got a black currant with a splash of lager <laughs> in it. Uh, so it was a good day. Thank you for watching, appreciate it. Please put your comments below if you've got comments on what we do. Please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. Thank you each and every one of you for taking the time out for watching. And what will we do, Max? We will see the latter.